Happiness together, following a proposal for painless birth. Let us know when you have uterine contractions because we are retarded professionals staring directly at your crown of thorns and we are too distracted. You, the mother in labor, know better than us and you, the mother in labor, are able to see because we are getting off at the scene of the crime and we need you, the mother in labor, to tell us what to do. Marissa, an Ameritard flogger, is a retarded non-mother who knows everything on television. Let us hear what she has to say. Do you hear that? A baby is being born. Giving birth is definitely a miracle, and they don't call it labor for nothing. I hope to be a mom someday, but I know that giving birth is one of the most painful experiences in somebody's life. So I was curious about what options women have for painless birth in our modern day. I did some research I hope to be and a I mom found someday, out that actually I know in that China, giving within birth the past five years, painless birth rate has life. increased significantly. All because of the painless birth proposal that the doctor has put forth as a member of the CPPCC. So today I want to visit him and talk about his proposal and what options women have for painless birth. Let's go. In somebody's life. I hope to be a mom someday, but I know that giving birth is one of the most painful experiences in somebody's life. I hope to be a mom someday, but I know that giving birth is one of the most painful experiences in somebody's life. Is this a Yes. Can you confirm the date of birth with me? January 20th. But I know that giving birth is one of the most painful experiences in somebody's life. I hope to be a mom someday. The mother assists by holding a warm towel on the baby's heel for five minutes to warm it up. Sanitize your hands and put on disposable gloves. So they position the infant on her back. Choose a site on the medial or lateral aspect of the heel. Cleanse the site with the alcohol wipe. Allow the alcohol to dry completely. Do not touch the site after cleaning. Remove the protective cover from the end of the lancet. Hold the semi-automatic lancet device with your dominant hand and the baby's heel with your non-dominant hand. Place the end of the device firmly against the heel and press the end of the device firmly into the heel. Wipe away the first drop of blood with a gauze square and discard the lancet and gauze in a biohazard waste container. Encourage blood to flow by applying gentle, continuous pressure to the heel without squeezing. It's a law, not a law, it's a policy here. If you're performing China, newborn screening for PKU and other metabolic diseases, you may use a test card provided by a state laboratory. Touch the infant's heel to the first circle on the test card until the circle fills completely with blood. PKU, or phenylketonuria, is caused by an inborn defect that prevents an infant from metabolizing phenylalanine, a common amino acid. Repeat until all circles have been filled. Apply gauze and hold in place until the bleeding has stopped. Let the test card dry for two Before hours. Before you and your baby Enter leave the hospital after birth, your baby will Mail undergo the card PKU to the laboratory testing. within 48 this hours. This involves obtaining several Document drops of blood from your baby's heel and then applying and it to a filter paper. PKU testing. This is then sent to the state lab and ARUP for further testing. A second test will be done with your pediatrician at your baby's two-week appointment in the office. These tests are really important and are looking for 39 different genetic, metabolic and hemoglobin conditions. If these conditions are found, and they are rare, they can be life-threatening and so early intervention is key. Specific treatments for them may include special diets, special formulas, and medication. If left untreated, children with these conditions may have developmental delays, severe anemia, sepsis, and even death. 
special. Other themes that are screened for are genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. If these genetic problems are found, then the, the parents are referred to a genetic counselor who can talk to them about plans for their children and their children's children in the future. After your baby has their PKU test done, follow up with your pediatrician's office and they'll be able to give you the results. If any abnormalities are seen, then you can expect the nurses at the Utah Department of Health to work with you and your After pediatrician to make sure that your child has the best and most current only, care possible. Uh, if you'd like later, more information on the topic, you can visit the website mission. below. Just and if you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family country, too. The, the National Health Commission set up 900 because newborn screening is the key to preventing disability and death for thousands of newborns every year your role in screening is vital this video will show you the most up-to-date instructions on how to perform that role correctly after five years select the safest area for puncturing the newborn skin Puncture the skin with a sterile lancet while wearing gloves. Touch the printed side of the blood collection device to the blood drop without touching the skin. Carefully fill each circle with a single application of blood to create a balanced vessel. I'm looking at all of your photos here and I'm just wondering what's the story of your board? Oh, many, they're just a student of mine. They are postdoctoral research fellows, and uh, they are, you know, the very excellent young generation. They are the fresh. All person. newborns are tested are for PKU. Future. Most parents know it as the heel stick, a blood test to see if a baby has the enzyme needed to process phenylalanine. A baby born with PKU is unable to break down in its body a common amino acid called phenylalanine. If that phenylalanine builds up too much in the baby's body, it results in very serious developmental disabilities. Robert Resta is a genetic counselor whose new theoretical study analyzes how many babies born with PKU since 1967 might now be adult women with maternal PKU. The frequency of PKU is about a 1 in uh, 15,000 births in the United States. Uh, so that probably adds up to about 500 babies born with PKU every year in this country. Babies with PKU need a special diet to avoid brain damage, but without a registry tracking these children children into adulthood, there's no way to know how many pregnant women with PKU might be off diet. During pregnancy, a woman off diet with PKU can potentially affect the brain development of her fetus. It's a kind of like warning shot to the medical community that you need to, you should take care of track these people, which is about before the And what I found is that essentially early detection of that for every baby born with PKU and who's treated and disabilities are avoided, another baby is going to be born newborn blood a totally spot different set of disabilities from the mother's newborn screening in Ontario. And it's important that mothers that are affected that lack this enzyme um, stay on a diet Health during pregnancy and even before pregnancy. Researchers don't consider this new information a public health crisis, but warn that pregnant women with PKU need to know that going off diet is not safe for their babies. The upshot of my study is that if we don't keep careful track of women with MPKU, we're going to create a whole set of babies being born with disabilities that could have been entirely prevented. This is Melanie Granforce in Seattle. Every year, more than 140,000 babies are born in Ontario, and around 200 babies each year are diagnosed with the disease through newborn screening. Every week, Newborn Screening Ontario receives about 3,000 samples. All samples are processed and tested urgently to look for newborns who are at risk for the serious diseases tested. The process starts with the arrival of the sample, where laboratory technicians check for test quality 
and that the requisition form is all new ones have I this so-called gutter test, test that I've got a, an example to show you here, uh, which we're grateful uh, to the great Ormondstein people for giving us. You see, is you take just a heel prick of a little from the newborn baby, and you put it <coughs> on a bit of blocking paper like this. And you can have the patient's name and all the information there. And when the blocking paper is dried, it can just be sent to the house. Because what you're testing for in this blood is the level of that amino acid that can't be metabolized. And that survives the post perfectly well. So what you this do is when it goes to the testing laboratory, you punch out a little bit of that paper that has the blood samples in it. A few and then DNA what you do is you on put that bit of paper onto bacteria on a plate, and I've got a sample of plate here, to uh, and hundreds the of bacteria are treated in such time. a way that These they'll only go if they're given telomeres. So they'll only go around a bit of paper that has phenylalanine. Now, these are test spots real -time here. And you can reaction. see that halo of growth of the bacteria there. At the Those same are the time test that the samples are being prepared for And testing. can you see one entry clerks positive the result on that plate? From the requisition you see that one? Into the laboratory computer that one there? System to be linked to the baby's see results. There? That's a positive result. Once the samples the are amino acid testing, from that little bit of, most of the filter paper has spread around and allowed the, the bacteria to first thing in the It's a very simple, straightforward in the morning, test that's done on everybody now. <coughs> it's been done all since the 1960s. Test. So all newborns can be screened to see the whether they've got the results that disease. Positive or screen negative. Positive screens are confirmed different ways, including retesting by the original method or by more specialized tests for the disease. Once the baby is confirmed to be screen positive, a report is issued by the laboratory director and a genetic counselor or nurse refers the baby urgently to a specialty clinic in a hospital as close to the baby's home address as possible. This interview is from an 8mm movie made by Dr. Forrest Bickle to, review the results to prove of the to those in England and arrange for that the low phenylalanine diet did indeed improve Once PKU. Once diagnosis is confirmed, it was made in about 1954 or 1955. While Dr. Bickle was still a fellow in pediatrics at the Children's Hospital in Birmingham, England, and, and had only recently sure that discovered that a low phenylalanine diet in PKU reduced the level of phenylalanine in the blood and improved the behavior of these children. This was before newborn screening. Education so those found to have PKU innovation. were mentally retarded. For more information about the girl the shown in the movie Ontario, was the first child he treated with Thus, was the signal case for dietary benefit ca. in PKU. Or follow us on Twitter. One of Dr. Bickle's colleagues in the study Twitter. was Dr. John Gerard, now retired in Canada. Dr. Gerard kindly gave me his copy of the movie, one of three that were Human made. Birth is definitely a miracle, and they don't call it labor for nothing. I hope to be a mom someday, but I know that giving birth is one of the most painful experiences in somebody's life. So I was curious about what options women have for painless birth in our modern day. I did some research and I found out that actually in China, within the past five years, painless birth rate has increased significantly. All because of the painless birth proposal that the doctor has put forth as a member of the CPPCC. So today I want to visit him and talk about his proposal and what options women have for painless birth. Let's go.
too. I'm Marissa. Okay, nice to meet you too. So, Dr. Huang, I've heard a lot about your proposal for painless childbirth here in China. And so, my question is, what first initiated you to make this proposal? Birth delivery, that's really painful process. Mm. So if you're talking about the pain, I can tell you different degrees mm. of it, like, like this. Zero means no pain at all. Mm. Uh, ten means the worst or the excruciating pain. Mm. For the labor process, the mother is suffering a lot. That's always belong to the severe pain. So this is why I try to help our, you know, the young ladies during the laboring, they can have better experience. On the other hand, you see uh, I'm the CPPCC member. So I have a responsibility to represent the people's feeling and the public concern. I think that's a small question, but it involves so much, so much in the society. You want to feel the nun to hold you, this is the thing that we got you some young. 感觉不仅是在肉体上有一些这个缓解疼痛，而且在精神上得到了抚慰。好，那就这么做。So, Dr. Huang, I'm curious, does your proposal become a law? It's a law, not a law, it's a policy here in China. In China, the National People's Congress is the highest state power organ, which exercises the authorities to enact the laws. NPC deputies, they are lawmakers, they can submit motions which people are once adopted. The Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference is not a state organ, but a top political advisory body. The CPPCC members actually just various from the different walks of life. Groups in China. One of the important duties of the CPPCC members is to carry out studies and surveys on the issues of the and report on social conditions and the public sentiment. They put forward the opinions. So after you give your proposal, what kind of process does it go to to become a policy? You see, uh, we spend a lot of time to investigate and uh, write it down as the uh, formal proposal and send it to the CPPCC. But as soon as the proposal rest, it was sent to the special committee, we call it the committee for examining proposals for the further review and the evaluate. So as soon as the, it is approval, it was sent to the relative ministers or commissions for further motion. There we are spend a lot of time for investigation and uh, feed it back to our members. After my uh, proposal raised, only uh, six months later, the National Health Commission just announced the official the document encourage us to have more the lab energy in clinical practice. Across the country, 
the the National Health Commission set up 912 medical centers as the labor and anesthesia basis. We are like that. If we are doing a blood transfusion, we are from the nose to the mouth. We are doing a blood transfusion. 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 After five years, right now, the across the country labor and energy rate is already count for the fifty-three percent. This place is属于你们的，你们至少有一个家。所以什么意思？一个是自己努力，一个是你们相互学习。大家要相互学习、相互讨论、相互分享。呃 ，So Dr. Huang, I'm looking at all of your photos here, and I'm just wondering what's the story of your board? What's all this about? Oh, mainly they just a student of mine. They are postdoctoral research fellows, and they are, you know, the very excellent younger generation. They are the fresh blood. They are also the Future yeah. of us. I'm just a doctor. I'm a teacher. I'm the uh, CPPCC member. But I can do a lot. I can help the people a lot. When we raise an issue, if it is really can. Help the people or represent the people's opinion and uh, their needs. We always can get the government support and uh, the positive the re reply. So I think that's the advantage of our country, and it's also our the. Chinese style of democracy. I'm really proud of living and working here and enjoy everything we have in the West. After talking to Dr. Huang, I think my perspective has definitely changed. Different countries have different definitions of democracy, with China having its own idea with the implementation of the CPPCC and their responsibility to seek out and find solutions to common problems citizens encounter. On that note, I want to thank Dr. Huang again by doing his part in representing the people through his painless birth proposal, which has already benefited many women since its inception by giving them a more positive and safe birth experience.